Hello guys, full time at St Mary's. Arsenal are out of the FA Cup at the fourth round stage. A 1 0 defeat to Southampton. Um, Mikel Arteta's first defeat in the FA Cup, uh, certainly as Arsenal manager. Feels like as a player for Arsenal, either for quite a, a long time. But um, disappointing always to go out of the Cup. Clearly, you know, the squad was always going to be rotated in this game. I do accept that. Um, but as a fan, I kind of find it hard to get excited about our Premier League prospects. You know, I don't know, given the poor start we had to the season, what our realistic hopes are of finishing in the European qualification place. It's possible, but I just sort of, I can't get too excited about it. You know, I won't be uh, celebrating seventh if we snare it on the final day. And... Consequently, the Cups come to me more in seasons where the league season is so underwhelming uh, and therefore it's disappointing to go out. Uh, we are at least still in the Europa League and I think that may come to kind of define our season. It may become the you know, priority for Arteta. It's the biggest prize that's realistically on the table, I think. Um, but anyway, the team was heavily rotated. I have to say, as soon as I saw the starting eleven, my expectations were pretty low and... Uh, judging by what we saw for the vast majority of the 90 minutes, I was right to have those expectations. A lot of players who aren't getting picked at the moment for good reason. Um, I'm thinking of the likes of Willian, I'm thinking of the likes of uh, Pepe, I'm thinking of the likes of Eddie Nketiah, I'm thinking of the likes of Maradon Nenny. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a disappointing performance particularly in the first half, nothing to it. William was played as kind of number 10. Look, they're just trying different stuff with him to try and make it work because they've put down a lot of money um, in that contract and they need to try and extract some value from it, but they're not finding a way, are they? At the moment, it doesn't look good. Pepe, yes, there were flashes from him in the second half. I guess at his age, there is a chance that we might get some return on him, either in terms of his performances or in the transfer market, but wow, it's a, it's a bad signing. And uh, Eddie Nketiah, well, let's just say today was a very good day for Balogun, who scored a hat-trick in the under-23s yesterday, wasn't involved today. Uh, and Eddie Nketiah looked not good. I thought he had a, a poor game, really disappointing. Balogun will feel like it gives him some leverage in the contract talks. I'm not sure, though, that there's a way that situation changes. I think Arteta seems pretty set in how much he likes Nketiah. Very emphatic on that this week when asked about it. And to be honest, I think Balogun looks destined to leave. I, I don't really see that situation changing. Things move fast in football, you never know. Um, so yeah, I just thought without Saka, without Partey, without Smith-Rowe, without, to a lesser extent, maybe Aubameyang, but certainly Lacazette, we were, with Tierney, of course, another one, we were pretty uninspiring. Um, and when a few of those names came on, Partey, Saka, Partey I thought was good when he came on, Arsenal's performance improved, but ultimately it was too little too late. And I think maybe we were lucky to not concede a late penalty. I don't know. I didn't see enough replays of it. We're out. We go back to St Mary's on Tuesday night, I think. Um the team, our tech selects will be much stronger and maybe we'll win that game and maybe it will make me feel better about this one. For now, I'm just sort of fed up to be out of the cup. I like the cup. It's nice, isn't it? I would have liked fifth round tie against Wolves. Bring it on. But about Southampton's now and not ours. And um, the opportunity to impress past the number of players by today but then it sort of tends to with that group. I'll leave it there. Speak to you soon. Bye, bye.